Hey folks, in this video we are going to be discussing uh, a beginner level way to automate emails using Google Apps Script. Open up your Google Drive, go up to the new section, go to more, go to Google Apps Script. Now you can also use a Google document or a Google Sheet if you would like to, um, but you can just open up an Apps Script file like this and start coding. Uh, so I'm going to rename my project as automated email and I am going to clear my boilerplate code because I don't uh, need it and I am going to go up to files and I'm going to add a file and it is going to be an HTML file. I'm just going to call it email. You can call it whatever you want it to. Uh, the code that you see populating here is the boilerplate is HTML syntax. We're going to go back to our code file. And we are going to begin by typing out function and I'm going to say auto email and it's going to have parentheses that are blank because we're not passing any arguments. We are going to use two curly brackets. We're going to hit enter and we're going to begin by connecting to the HTML template. Uh, I hit tab there. I'm going to do var HTML is equal to capital H HTML service. You see that auto populates for us. We're going to hit dot and then we are going to create a template uh, from file. Sorry, I didn't see that auto complete. We're going to do a parentheses and do single quotes and then you're going to enter in whatever the name of your HTML file is. So because I called it email, I'm going to enter in email. You don't need the .html. It already knows it's an HTML file because of the HTML service. Uh, I'm going to add a semicolon there. Uh, next thing we're going to do is connect the template so you can send it via Gmail app. So we are going to do var email content and we are going to set that to html.evaluate open parentheses dot get content open parentheses semicolon cool we are almost there now we are going to send email uh, so we're going to use capital gmail app dot send email we're going to use a parentheses. Our first argument is going to be um, the email addresses that we want to send it to. Uh, so for my purposes, I want to send it to mattbridgety.dev at gmail.com. That is my email. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to uh, send me a note and I'll be happy to help you. Uh, next, we're going to use a comma and we are going to set the subject. So I am going to uh, set, or you know, I'm gonna call it reminder to pick up groceries. So I'm gonna set this for like once a week to remember to go pick up groceries from the store or whatever. So next thing that we need to do is, um, I always forget what this is, but it's like, it's basically like if the HTML fails uh, or the the email fails, this message will will send a like will show up for people in the event that your HTML body doesn't show up. So I just have always I learned this from a YouTube video that I watched. Um, so sorry that I don't have a better answer for that, but it works and you need to have it in there. If somebody knows in the comments section, please fill it in so that we all become smarter. Uh, the final thing that we're going to do is use curly brackets and we are going to write HTML body and then we are going to reference the email content. Uh, so what that's going to do is that is going to take our HTML service uh, template from file code and our email content, um, email content code and it's going to enable it so that when we send this email it will pull from the code in the HTML file. So we're going to save that now, and we're going to go into email.html, 
and we're going to use p tags. Uh, so this is for a paragraph, so we're going to say hello. We're going to use p tags, and this is going to add, set it at a new line. So it stands for paragraph. We're going to say this is a reminder to pick up the groceries this week. Cool. Uh, so now we're going to hit save and we are going to go to our code file and we are going to try and run this. Um, it's going to ask us to provide permissions. Uh, this is part of Google's authorization process. So you're just going to select this name here. You're going to go to advanced. You're going to go to whatever the name of your file is. It will say unsafe. And then it will ask you if you want to allow this application to read, write, update, and delete from your uh, Gmail account. Uh, so you always want to be careful about what you provide permissions to. Uh, but what we're doing here is safe. It is not going to result in all of your emails being deleted. So then we're going to go over to my email. And you'll see that I got a security alert just allowing me to know that I have allowed access to that application. And then you can see I have an email here that is sending me a reminder to pick up my groceries. Great. So the last thing that we're going to do is we are going to um, go over to triggers and we're going to create a new trigger and we are going to make sure that we select the function that sends our email. And then you can go here and you can figure out what type of trigger you need. So you can do an hour timer, a minutes timer, specific date and timer, hour timer, day timer, week timer, month timer, right? So if you do a week timer, that'll let you send an email on every, like of a day of the week at a selected time. So the way that it works is that it'll send it between these two times. Um, you could also do a month timer that will allow you to send it on whatever day of the month. So if you want to send an email on the seventh day of every month, this will allow you to do it. Uh, so because I said that this was a weekly timer, I am going to set it to week and I'm going to set it for every Wednesday at 2 p.m. so I can pick it up after work. And then I hit save. And then my new trigger will show up here and it will run every week. Um, and I'll be able to see my executions over here. And I will never forget to pick up the groceries again. Uh, one additional thing that I want to mention is that in the event that you want to email more than one person, what you can do is um, add square brackets in here and then separate it by um, a comma. So just so that you can see, I've now added square brackets and I've entered an email and I've separated it by a comma and now when I hit run and we go back to my email and we hit refresh you can see I got another reminder to pick up the groceries and now it's sent to two emails. So this was a quick one I hope you found it helpful if you're looking for more advanced ways of um, sending emails scripting emails using app script and Google Sheets and, and all that type of stuff. I have those videos on my channel. Um, I have several other videos about general app script best practices, or not best practices, but lessons relating to data collection and automation uh, from Google Sheets to Google Docs to Google Slides. Um, I always love hearing from you, so let me know if there's anything that you'd like to learn how to do. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.